Hello and welcome to K2AV's Make Pretend AV Setup Show. I'm Jasky, and if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, what we do here is we have a theoretical client with a budget and we design the best AV solution to meet their needs. On today's episode, we have Virat, who is the IT manager of a large public school here in Western Australia. And the question that Virat has for us is a question that we receive very commonly, hundreds of times, each and every week. So I'll let Virat ask the question and then we will come back and we'll do a design to meet those requirements. But let's get on with the show. Hi, I'm Virat and I am the IT manager of a large secondary public school here in Perth, Western Australia. I'm wondering how I make a decision whether to buy a projector or a TV for the teachers to use as a teaching tool. If you can help me, decide on features, cost effective, value for money, what the better option is. And for budget purposes, we would like to spend less than $4,000 per classroom. Thanks Virat. To answer the question of whether a projector or a TV slash display is the best solution for a classroom depends on the application. But let's backtrack and start with the main criteria and that is image size. How big does that image need to be to make sure anyone in that classroom can see what's being displayed. It's called the 468 rule. This rule will make it easy for anyone to figure out how big a display or projector screen you need for your classroom. So depending on how high your image is, you multiply by four if you're doing something analytical, you multiply by six if you're doing something like a basic presentation, big images, things like that and multiply by eight if it's passive, like a video that doesn't need any sort of intricate information to be seen. So when you multiply it, the answer that you get is how far someone should be seated from that display. So let's take an example. Let's assume this is 1.2 meters in height. Typically for a classroom, you multiply by six, which means that's 7.2. So the furthest person from that image should be 7.2 meters away. Any further and that image is too small for that space. The difference between a projector and a TV is for a similar cost, the projector you can get a larger image size. So to compare the most common brand, Epson Ultra Short Throw Projectors, model number 685W, that is a 90 inch diagonal image and that projector roughly costs you $2,000 RRP. For a similar price for say a 75 inch LG TV, that'll cost you about two and a half thousand to $3,000. In terms of features, projector versus TV, the features are quite comparable. There isn't really any additional features you get from a projector as compared to a TV. However, the Epson projectors do have an eye projection application. There's also content management that you can remotely send content and control projectors without being in that room specifically. Some retail TVs do give you smart TV and, and all these features that are useful for the home. But in this case, because it's a commercial environment, those are not really applicable. And we have to go with a commercial screen in a commercial environment because they're rated to be run day in, day out. But in a typical classroom environment, you would have a wall plate, which has a HDMI input. You bring your laptop or whatever device you're using, plug your HDMI into your laptop, plug it into the wall plate, and whatever's on your device will then be displayed on either the screen or the projector. Depending on the device you're using, they typically have a wireless built-in casting feature, which then you can wirelessly cast your laptop to the screen. In terms of the projectors, they have mirror cast options. So if you have a device that can use mirror cast to project wirelessly, a number of projectors do have that built-in. Now the question we're asked is interactivity, because both projectors and screens have interactivity as an option. Our recommendation is stick to the screen slash TV option. Do not go with a projector. The interactivity on a projector natively is not as good an experience, is not as responsive, it's not as easy to use as it is with your interactive screens. And there is an assortment of brands of interactive screens and we have another video which you can watch where we do a comparison between those screens. Comparing image quality. 
between a projector and a TV, if you see them side by side in a well-lit room, a TV is much easier to see because it's brighter, sharper, the colors are more radiant as compared to a projector. So depending on the amount of light in the room, a TV is typically better for the viewing purpose and gives you a, uh, a better looking image. On comparing space and aesthetics, how much space do you need on the wall where it's gonna be mounted comparing a TV or a projector, the TV requires virtually no space. It can be mounted flush to the wall. Whereas a projector will typically sit 30 to 40 centimeters off the wall, depending on the size of the projector, and aesthetically can sometimes not look as nice as a TV. To compare ongoing costs, now I did say at the get-go, projectors can be cheaper for the same image size, but what you do have to keep in mind is a screen or a TV does not require any ongoing costs. There's nothing you need to do with a TV that once it's installed, it's set and forget. Whereas with a projector, typically they're lamp-based projectors, so you have to replace a lamp, which is a very minimal cost, roughly $60 to $70, but they have to be replaced on average every 8,000 to 10,000 hours, which is run at eight hours a day, over five to six years, you're gonna to need to replace that lamp. If the lamp ongoing cost is a problem, you do have the option of installing an ultra short throw laser projector. And the model number for that is the 735F. This projector costs you roughly $1,500 more than the 685W that I mentioned at the start, which is a lamp-based projector. This one is a laser-based, which means it has 20,000 hours that you can use this projector for without needing to replace a lamp get up there, do any sort of maintenance. It's a set and forget version, just like the screen. And it can also project a much larger image. Longevity, how long does a projector last as compared to a TV? The answer is, we don't know. They last a similar amount of time. From our experience, we've installed projectors and screens in a similar environment. And in most cases, they both lasted about the same amount of time. In terms of recommendations, they do say TVs will last a year or two longer than a projector, but it's not definitive. In terms of warranty, comparing a projector or a screen, what sort of warranty do you get that if something should go wrong, how long are you protected? With a projector, the brand Epson, which is what we're using as a comparison point, you get three years manufacturer's warranty. With a screen or a display, it's typically three years, but some of them do only give you one year warranty. And those are all the points of comparison between a projector and a TV slash screen. What you do need to keep in mind is when you do install a projector, you do need something to project on. Typically, we use a standard whiteboard, which means if you don't wanna turn the projector on, you can still use it as a normal whiteboard with a dry erase marker. The standard cost of a projector, whiteboard, and installation will be roughly $3,000. For a 75-inch screen, as a price comparison, let's take the LG model of screen, a wall mount bracket, which means a standard flush wall mount, and installation will cost you just under $4,000. And that's it for today's episode. That is the reasoning behind projector versus TV. What should you install in your classroom and the costs involved with either. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.